who knows whatever in your chest whatever you think what's the equa equations in your mind for what you are doing that thing what is the real reason in your thinking in your innermost thoughts if the basic reason is your creator then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your creator the only one God will reward you maybe someone else do the same thing but without thinking the creator without doing that because of the creator he will not receive any reward because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only accepts the deen the deeds the way of life if it is if it is only for him if it is sincerely for him al khalis we should do and we should arrange our intentions we should see the reality these blessings comes to us come to us from our creator not from our parents and not from the people and not from the patron of the company none of them can do any single favor for us so the creator has every right over us and we should live in an accordance with him and he gave us our faculties to see the truth he showed us our way he guided us he created and showed the way we see what the Creator wants us to do we have that potential abilities and faculties we should follow the truth and we should live with him with our Creator we should speak with him in ourselves sincerely no one see and hear except him and he will guide us if we are sincere if we are ready to pay the price for the truth even if it's with our life be truthful even if it if it costs uh, with your life the truth is very very important for example you see a crime one one uh, someone kills the other but you know that if you say the truth maybe he or his companions will kill you say the truth no matter if they kill you or not say the truth say the truth for the sake of the only one God because he is the truth Al-Haqq it's very very good to receive some annoyance to receive some harm because of the truth and we are as human beings should do that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us in a very good form we deserve to be good we deserve that goodness we have that potential to do it and if we do them for the sake of the Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward us وَأْمُرْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَنْهَا عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ look what he says says I mean Luqman to his son in this ayah after saying enjoin the good and forbid the evil he says وَاسْبِرْ عَلَى مَا أَصَابَكَ and bear with patience whatever befalls you Luqman already knew that whoever enjoins what is good 
and forbids what is evil will inevitably encounter harm and annoyance. He knew that. And after saying, وَأْمُرْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَنْهَانِ الْمُنْكَرِ Enjoying the good and forbid the evil, he said, وَصْبِرْ and be patient. عَلَى مَا أَصَابَكَ Whatever befalls you, endure them all for the sake of the Creator. So whenever you see as in a certain circumstance that there is truth, you should say it, you should do it. But you see that there is some difficulties. Remember this ayah. Say the truth or do the truth or sport the truthful one and be patient. Or in a place you see that there is an evil and you should intervene, you should forbid them, you, sh you should say something at least, say it. But you see that when you say that this is evil and when you try to warn them or prevent them, the people or the others, you guess that there will be some problem or there is dangerous for you, do it. Do the truth. Be sincere within yourself. And wasbir ala ma asabak. And bear with patience whatever befalls you. Wasbir ala ma asabak. We should, first of all, be ready for the difficulties. In this life, we should at the first hand, accept that this is a trial. The Creator wants to try us, wants to show us whom is a good and whom, whoever is an evil, is a wicked one. And then we will receive our prominent positions in the hereafter, forever. So we are recreating ourselves in this life for the second life, for the hereafter. And we are determining our degree in that life. So look at yourself, what you want to be, where you want to be. You want to be in the paradise of the Creator? forever with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with every ni'mah with every goodness there forever or you want to be a wicked and you want to receive you want to encounter the punishment of the creator in hellfire forever this is our choice in this life to be a good one or to be an evil one, to choose the truth or to follow the evil because of our loving to this life, of this life. Everyone, even the non-believers, even those who didn't read Quran at all, they can understand that the Creator wants us to do the truth because he gave us that faculties why why did he give us that faculties it's clear that he wants to guide us moreover Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Creator talks to us within ourselves he says to us when we are about to doing something he says do it it's good or he says, do not do it, it's not good. And if you do that crime, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes you feel guilty. This is out of his mercy. He wants to show you that it wasn't good, it wasn't right. We should follow the truth. The truth, the ayat, the science of the Creator comes to us from everywhere within ourselves and from outside. سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقِ 
of Ya Anfusihim. We will show them our signs within themselves and from our from outside. Fil Afaqi of Anfusihim or the people or over anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can send this message through everything. And he shows us our way. Our responsibility is only to follow the truth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will taught us, will show us the truth. We should follow the best. We should follow his signs. If we are sincere in ourselves, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not waste us, will not forsake us. وَأَمُرْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ Join the good. So if someone comes to you and say, you believe that, you believe such deities, some idols, some things, how can you believe in them? They are not deities. There, there is only one God. The one who created the heavens and the earth. And it's already proven. We are His proof as human beings. And this system, when He explains it to you and you understand it, how can you change your feelings and say that you are not true. My idols are the best. Or there can be many gods. Although you do not have any single evidence for it. I say this and Allah the Most Gracious to you and you and to all the believers. Lord, don't forget us in our sins or ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته